curious cuneiform. Sounds sort of like a spell. Hi everyone, I'm Angela, and today we'll go through a linguistics Olympian problem. Cuneiform is the oldest known writing system, dating back to about 3400 BC. Its letters look like wedges and were made up with sharp sticks and clay tablets. They started out as pictures but quickly became unrecognizable. It was invented in modern Iraq and it was used for writing several different languages. The signs shown below are used in the libraries of 7th century BC Syrian king, but they have been slightly simplified in that marks of balance have been missed out. Pause here if you like to try it yourself. If not, let's begin. After reading the question, the key here is how pronunciations match Babylonian forms. Notice that if a question mentions pronunciations, it is very likely that they match phonetically, meaning there is a direct correspondence between symbols and sounds. Looking at the left column, we notice D has a really long pronunciation. Out of intuition, it is likely to match with number H, with a really, really long cuneiform. To validate this, we look at the sound LU, based on our assumption of D matching to number H. The sound the LU should have the first symbol in number H. To test if our assumption is correct, let's see if we can find the same symbol at the end of three Babylonian forms. And we find them here. So we know that D definitely matches with number H. Looking back to the other pronunciations with Lu, we can also validate that there's indeed a direct link between symbols and sounds, as out of these three, only G has three sounds, and out of two, three, and six, only three has three symbols. This means that G must match to number three. Based on this, we'll look at the sound Nu. As it is the first sound of G, it must have this symbol in purple. Now, let's find a form where this symbol is placed at the end, and we find F matching to number 1. Also from G and 3, we know that the symbol for the sound BA, shown in yellow, as H begins with BA, let's find this symbol at the beginning of a cuneiform, and if we find it, it'll definitely match with H, and we find H matches with 6. Going back to F, we now know that the sound LA matches with the symbol in blue. As E ends with LA, it must then match with 5. As we initially found three forms that end with the sound LU, and two of these are matched already, this means C must then match with 2, as it is the only option left. C starts with the sound Q, and we know that the symbol for Q is this one here in pink. Therefore B matches with 4 and A matches with 7. Now looking at task 2, it is very simple as we basically use the previous information to decipher and match cuneiforms with their pronunciations. I won't talk through this but you can check your answers here. So that's all for today, a short video explaining curious cuneiform. Thanks for watching and please like, comment and subscribe below.